Okay. <clears throat> Merry Christmas to you all and oh my. Kuma Styles. Anyway, I just had to get this off my chest and I know how you all love to hear these topics. So here goes. This is for the undercover gay people, the down low gay people, the um the gay man that tells people he don't like feminine gay men and yet he's feminine or who thinks he's masculine but he's not masculine because everybody thinks you're feminine but you because you're confused this goes out to you if you are intimidated by me so let me tell y'all what happened today right as you know I own a salon here in Nashville Tennessee it's not no big flashy salon but it has my name on it and what it's mine so I'm comfortable with it it doesn't have a lot of people working in it but it's not small and trifling it looks pretty nice at least I think so I mean I've had it for 10 years but this is the thing there's another salon not too far from mine and I like to stop in and say hi to the girls every once in a while because I don't do anything wrong to anybody. I try to, I live by what I preach. I try to treat people as I want to be treated. If I don't like you, I won't fool with you. If I like you, but only deal with you a little bit, you'll know it because I'll just treat you a certain way. But it's never truly hateful because if I don't like you because of something you did to me, I'll tell you before I let it affect me because I believe that uh, more cussing is good for your health. So that's what I do. Let me tell what happened. So I went up to my friend's salon that's right down the road from mine and she had a guy working in her salon that's gay. He, you know the type. They they think they're a guy, you know. Well, they are a guy by genetics, but you know what I mean. Like they, they got a fade and wear the head to the side and they dress all holy like because they go to church and stuff all the time but then when the lights go out or when they leave work they're at the gay club popping and dropping or they own BGC or Adam for Adam or some other gay type of chat and they're getting a freak on meeting man offline and stuff but you know the Bible is they friend when they're in front of people and then there's me so whatever the case I went into the salon and I was like hey everybody um, it's her salon she owns it and she's never had anybody in there feminine or gay before so she kind of warned me before I came she's like you need to come up and see him you know for some reason people think gay people are funny or they just wanna ooh he's gay or did you see his hair or, you know how y'all are honey not saying it's wrong but you know how y'all are cause you do it all the time sissies is always a good topic no matter who and where you are and I'm signing off on it so I hope I ain't pissing nobody off but when I was in there he didn't say much to me he was like hi how are you I said oh hey how you doing my name's Foresta he said for who I said Foresta he said oh, I've never heard of you I said yeah I really don't do a lot of stuff he's like um well I'm project I be this and that and he was real comfortable being project and who am I to hate on him I mean, if that's your thing do you second time I you know we started talking he asked all these questions and then when he left the stylist in there was like he was talking it up before you came in here I said, oh, I guess. I don't know what's going on. But then next thing you know, I seen her a couple days later, and she had to change her locks and stuff because she put him out because she didn't think he would fit her salon environment because he was too hood, I guess you'd say, whatever. But I think he has heard of me, but, you know, he, here or there, I still treat him with respect because I'm that type of person. But then today she called me and asked me for my locksmith's number because, you know, I know a lot of people, and she wanted to change the locks and lock him out the building. I thought he was super cool but get this she said well you know he talks about you he was like I don't deal with her she's too feminine she's she's fem she's girly she looks like girl and this and that and I'm thinking to myself how did you how where'd you get that because I don't even talk to you I just said hi and you already acted a fool on me and when I walked in the door this second time he had the gospel music playing in the background and was shaking it on up first of all how are you gonna be all into gospel music and then say that you hood and you fights and you project and all this and that you mixing up the bible you don't even know what the bible means if you're doing it like that then she said he was in there stealing all her products and stuff but i don't want to give the girl a bad name that's why i'm not gonna say her name on here but i was just like it that made me think about it. i was like there are a lot of gay people when they see me they run from me or they act like they don't see me or they act like um they scared of me let me be the first to tell you 
I'm not paying no attention to you. I don't care who you sucking, who you fucking, what you doing. If you a straight guy and I see you with some girls and I want to say what I got to say to you, not hitting on you, but if I want to hit on you, you know it too. But I don't hit on boys. I let them hit on me. I think it's classless when you got to go chasing down some damn man because you horny. Fuck all that. You like this. You talk to this. If I want you, I'll talk to you after I get your name and number when you give it to me. Other than that, it's a deuces. But anyway, so I was like, let me check time. So I was like, dude, he's real serious. Like, but let me tell y'all, I don't do that. I, whenever I walk in a place, a lot, do you know how many gay people I see on the daily that I think is gay? I don't have time to say, ooh, girl, he's gay. Or, ooh, girl, did you see him last week? Even if I see you at the gay club, I have a cousin that's bisexual, and I seen him at the gay club two times. I ain't told nobody in my family because it's not my thing. And he know I'm not going to say that. And I seen a, I got a lesbian cousin that had two kids. I don't even tell her business because that's not my ski low. Yo secret safe with me. You, even if I get mad at you and you do something petty, for me, petty to me, I'm not going to bring that up. I'm going to break your face my own way. I don't have to come up off of nobody else. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to let y'all know. I was like, why would you be embarrassed? If you fucking guys or if you having sex with girls and or if you're a lesbian and you having sex with girls and guys, why would you not be proud of what you're doing? If you don't care about going to fuck them hoes and meet up with them, why would you care about me coming in and saying, hey, which club did you go to? Uh, ooh, are you gay? Which I would never do. I mean, you need to be more content with yourself. She said he's, and then this is what kills me. When you go to the church and all of them, they, they voice is higher than mine. But yet they got suits and stuff on looking like Neo. I'm not a hater. I'm all for you doing your own swing. But you're not going to look at me and say, oh my God, they go for us. So what should I do? You need to say hi and make it look like you want it to look. Because if I see you and you looking shasty and shysty, I'm going to act like I don't know you anyway and roll past and give you a like, did you see that bitch looking stupid? That's me. And keep talking, to, and may even talk about you. You're going to bring more attention to yourself being petty. I'd rather you say, hey, how you doing? Or not look at me or say nothing at all. But I'm nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm young. I'm successful. I'm very classy. I take care of myself. I don't steal. I don't write bad checks. What would you hate about me besides that I'm a sissy and that I'm feminine and that my hair is long and my body's cute and I own... I mean, what, why would you hate something like this? You know what I'm saying? And then the person that I'm talking about, she told me that he can't even pay his booth rent this week. My truck and cars are paid for. I mean, what is you? I just want to know what is it about me that would make you embarrassed? Are you that much un insecure with yourself that you think that when I come through, people are gonna be like, "Ooh, he's gay because he knows Foresta." I got straight cousins. I hang with nothing but real boys. I'm in barber school with boys, and they love me. I mean. They say that's my sister, that's my girl. They're secure with themselves. I mean, even the guys that I was dating, they come out and say I go with her. Because there's, no, I don't understand why you would be shy and embarrassed by me. If you're on the down low you're on the low, I don't walk in saying I, that's what it is. You used to sisters doing that type of bullshit, calling you out. I don't read girls. That's never been my forte. I don't got time for it. Even straight boys, I don't read them either. If you like dick or ass, that's your personal business. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Because the only thing I'm worried about is how I'm going to make my presence known. My mama had me. I'm very content with myself. I love who I am. And I'm going to take over the rest with this life here. I suggest you do the same. So this goes out to any gay people to think when they see me, I'm going to blaze you or give a fuck about what you're doing. If you're already out and you flaming and you are real one, I might say, bitch, you fine. Because that's just me. But I don't know what I'll say, but I won't come out and be like, girl, you know he's gay and this and that. That's just not my tea. It don't fit in my Kool-Aid recipes. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted you all to know that because I'm sure there's a lot of you all to think that because I always have some try to run when I come through and stuff. I was at court not too long ago for fighting somebody. I'll tell y'all about that one, later on. And there was a gay guy in there and he seen me and I was like, hey, he got fucking finger waves. Bitch, you was gay. And I was just like, hey. And he was like trying to half do it. And so once the court was over, he walked up to me. Hey, Miss Foresta girl. I said, bitch, why was you in the act like you didn't know me? He said, honey, you know they don't know about me. I'm looking at him like, okay, you got lip gloss on with gray eyes. I mean, hazel contacts and a finger wave. And you don't look gay. All right. Well, I guess. But that's here there. I just was like, y'all is a mess for that.
I know my voice sounds crazy, but you know my dogs had nine my dog had nine puppies and my allergies are still messing up from that. Plus I had a cold like three weeks ago, strep throat. So until I sell all my dogs, I guess I'm gonna be sounding like Shrek and looking like Donkey. But I got my hair down. I just don't get that. If you're insecure with yourself, you shouldn't be fucking and sucking people. You should just live in the house. I just can't stand for people to be acting like they're holier than thou. Anyway, for the gay people that don't give a fuck, I love you all. I respect you all. For the ones that are on the down low, your secret is safe with me because I ain't here to blaze you. Love you and yourself only. I will speak with you girls later. Toodles.